This isn't a trick of light. It's an actual hole in Mars, an opening that plunges into a vast dark cave. What's more, this isn't the only one we've found. These holes raise many questions. What hides under the surface of Mars? Could life still flourish in these sheltered caverns? So far, scientists have tagged over 1,000 cave candidates. The red markers each point to something that could be an underground cavern, possibly with networks connecting them. Most of these have been identified in one area, the Tarsus region. This area contains the four largest mountains on Mars, all of which are volcanoes. This is significant and gives us a clue about how these holes are formed. As lava flows, the outer layers cool and harden first. The inner layers of molten lava continue to flow, leaving a tube. Over time, parts of the tube can break, creating what's known as a skylight. Volcanic formations on Mars are very similar to those on Earth, except they tend to be bigger due to the weaker gravity. The longest lava tube on Earth is the Kazamur Cave in Hawaii, measuring over 60 kilometers in length. On Mars, there are countless examples of fully collapsed lava tubes, which can be observed from orbit. This set of collapsed lava tubes is located on the slopes of Pavonis Mons, one of the three major volcanoes in the Tarsus region. The longest tube in the image spans almost 60 kilometers, so it's comparable to the Kazamura Caves. In general, lava tubes are well insulated and could provide excellent shelter for future Martian explorers. Provided we ensure it's airlocked, we could give the tubes an artificial atmosphere. They also protect against the hazardous radiation levels on Mars. Although, we should be wary of new skylight formations and tube collapses. Future astronauts would need to regularly inspect the integrity of the tube and utilize support beams. But what about Martian life? Could alien life survive in these sheltered environments? On Earth, we've found organisms living in the most extreme of places. In 2023, a NASA-led team sampled slime from a Hawaiian lava tube and uncovered over 70 brand new microbe species that survive in total darkness by eating the iron and sulfur in the basalt rock, proof that life can thrive underground without sunlight. Could large colonies of microbes be thriving in Martian lava tube networks? On Mars, there's currently a big mystery. The Curiosity rover has detected methane on Mars. On Earth, a significant portion of methane is produced by bacteria. The methane detected on Mars appears to change with the seasons. Could alien cave-dwelling bacteria solve this methane mystery? Are we looking at the home of alien life? This unusual hole, situated on the dusty slopes of Pavonis Mons, has now been confirmed as a skylight entrance into a massive lava tube. The opening itself is around 35 meters, or 115 feet across. Using the shadow cast on the floor, scientists estimated that the material inside is at least 20 meters deep. However, the strange crater surrounding the hole intrigued researchers, and they wanted to get more information. After taking additional images from slightly different angles, they were able to calculate that the walls of this crater are incredibly steep, causing material to flow into the hole and form a debris pile on the cave floor. By calculating the amount of material that would have once filled the crater, researchers deduced that the debris pile is at least 62 meters tall. Therefore, the pit itself was once around 90 meters deep. The mechanism of radial collapse is still debated. However, before the event, the intact lava tube would have been approximately 300 feet in diameter, which is significantly taller than the Statue of Liberty. The true scale of this lava tube is impressive. 
This image of two Martian pits close together hides an interesting feature. Taken near the Ascreus Mons in the Tarsus region, the pits are estimated to be around 180 and 310 meters in diameter. As we zoom out, you'll notice a band of dark material emanating from the holes. Scientists believe the wind has blown out the dark material. Is this an extensive underground network with a draft? That might explain how methane produced by Martian microbes is dissipated into the atmosphere. These close-up shots have been highly processed to show the openings in more detail. We can see dunes and boulders on the floor. However, the eastern sides remain dark with possible overhang. It's impossible to tell from orbit just how deep these pits go. This image shows another large pit with potential for overhang and a deep cavern. Surprisingly, this image is not taken from the Tarsus region. The image is from an area on the other side of the planet named Hephaestus Fasi. Is it the case that these openings are more frequent around large volcanoes, or is it simply because we are searching for them in these locations? We are now finding more and more openings on Mars from all over the planet, suggesting that Mars could be littered with many cave networks. This opening is interesting because it does not look like a typical volcanic skylight. The diameter is estimated to be around 30 meters and it's located just outside the Tarsus region and not near any large volcanoes. This may be the first example of a cave formed by other processes. Not all of the 1,000 plus cave candidates are actual caverns. It's hard to confirm from orbit, but in some cases, we've seen them from other angles. This image, first captured in 2007, appears to show a black drop, suggesting this could be the entrance to a deep cavern. Just months later, scientists took this photo, showing the entrance from another angle. There are steep walls present, but the depth of the pit and its expansion at the bottom remain unknown. The team managing the high-rise camera, which caught these images, said, The pit must be very deep to prevent detection of the floor from the skylight, which is quite bright on Mars. The pit in this image has very steep walls, and so only a narrow arc is illuminated by sunlight. The rest of the pit is in dark shadow. However, a highly processed version of the images shows details of the pit floor due to a small amount of scattered sunlight. This image was suggested by a group of middle schoolers in California as part of a NASA initiative. The students discovered this dark pit and asked to see a close-up of this feature to determine whether it might be a possible skylight cave. Again, a processed version of the image reveals the floor. However, there is potential for some overhang at the very edge. These images demonstrate the remarkable sensitivity of the high-rise camera. Any black areas have potential for a deep drop. Among the thousands of cave candidates identified, there are bound to be extensive real cave networks under the surface of Mars. These caves not only protect against radiation, but also offer warmth. Thermal imaging suggests that these caves behave as we would expect here on Earth. They are cooler in the afternoon and warmer at night. Scientists believe Martian lava tubes and caves could even contain frozen water. Martian caves are probably the best chance we have at finding alien life and populating Mars. Imagine if we did both at the same time. Those first Martian cave explorers would be terrified at the thought of undiscovered alien life hiding in the caves. Although currently out of reach, Martian lava tubes and caves are some of the most fascinating features of the planet, and future study is imperative for human settlement. While NASA currently doesn't have any plans set in stone, it has shown an interest in using helicopters, drones, and robots to explore some of these vast underground networks. For now, we'll have to use our imagination.
we want to thank our channel members and Patreon subscribers for their generous support. Join the community today to get your name in the videos, early access to ad-free content, and even a curated set of 4K desktop wallpapers. It helps us to create more quality content that you enjoy. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps. Thanks for watching Elder Fox.